So which is better, traditional FPV or DJI FPV? So I am extremely new to the world of FPV, but I've jumped all in. I do have a couple more traditional FPV drones that I couldn't fit on the table, um, but this is kind of my go-to. Now these drones are used for various different things, racing, freestyle, cinematic. You really need to think about what style of FPV you wanna fly before you even think about purchasing or building a drone. Now how I got into FPV was the DJI FPV because I was so frightened of the these drones. I thought they looked like flying bombs with all the wires sticking out of them. So when DJI came out with the FPV, it was just an easy entry level thing for me to try. And that brought me over to traditional FPV as well. Now, if you are a drone racer or a freestyler at heart, you are going to be through and through traditional FPV. You are going to hate the DJI FPV drones. And what I've seen is you're either one way or the other, like you can't be both in this world, which I think is sad because I am both personally. I love the DJI FPV and I also love the traditional FPV systems. Where I find the DJI drones are perfect for me in how I like to fly is I actually own a video production business and I feel far more comfortable bringing these guys onto a shoot from a safety perspective as they are GPS run. You have that emergency stop button if you need. You can also go to normal mode and get normal drone shots as well. And also with the Avada and you're flying, you know, inside or, or through a house, you don't have to be in FPV mode. You can kind of have an FPV drone, but cheat a little bit as well. Now that's not how I particularly like to fly. I like flying in manual mode. And when I'm having fun, I like to fly these drones because they are just so much fun to fly. But when someone's paying me large amounts of money to do a job, these drones are great, particularly because of the battery life. The battery life is just uncomparable on these drones compared to the traditional FPV. You'll get like five minutes max if you're lucky on this drone. Whereas on the DJI drones, you can get like 12 to 15 minutes. Now that is ridiculous. Especially when you're flying for clients or, or doing professional jobs, having that extra battery time is absolutely a game changer. Now, I don't think there needs to be an us versus them type of mentality where, oh, you've got a DJI drone, you're not a real FPV pilot. I think that's really childish. I think that people should be trying to support everybody who's trying to get into FPV because it is such an amazing sport to get into. And just like everything in life when it comes to cameras or gear or cars or houses, everybody's not gonna like the same thing or require the same thing from a drone. So like I said before, if you're a racer, you're not gonna buy these drones, so they're not applicable to you. But if you are a cinematic filmmaker who wants to integrate some FPV into your shooting, these drones are gonna be a game changer for you because they are safe, they are easy to use, they have all those features that will enable you to get better and practice and also be safe. And there's a reason why these drones are king when it comes to the FPV world because they are designed to fly fast, they're agile, they maneuver so well, whereas these, not so much, but they are still outstanding pieces of kit. Like for DJI's first FPV drone, this is outstanding. Now I'm quickly gonna run over some pros and cons of using the traditional FPV system as opposed to the DJI FPV. So the biggest negative for me while using traditional FPV drones is the batteries. Now obviously the battery life for traditional FPV drones is particularly low because they are so quick and so powerful, they just drain the batteries really quick. So you probably get, you know, five minutes on the Nazgul um, and that's, you know, not going too crazy either. So that's kind of conservative flying so you might get three minutes if you go on absolutely ballistic whereas on the DJI drones obviously you're not going to be as agile you're not going to be doing flips and loops and all that kind of thing going too nuts but you get like 10 to 12 minutes on these drones so completely different drones but also completely different battery life the second thing that I do not like about the traditional FPV drones when it comes to batteries is just how hard it is to maintain your batteries and worry about your batteries and worry about your fucking house burning down it happens and it happens quite frequently lithium batteries are really dangerous and if you don't know what you're doing if you don't know how to charge them and decharge them and store them you're in for a world of hurt. There is a lot of maintenance to do with the batteries, whereas with the DJI batteries, they're just plug and play. You don't have to worry about a thing. 
Now, one of the big negatives about the DJI FPV system is obviously they are made of plastic and that is a deal breaker. So particularly the DJI FPV drone, this is just plastic all around. Um, you crash this thing once or twice, she's going down. She's breaking arms, motors, all kinds of things, and you're up for a new drone. So that is the biggest deal breaker when it comes to these drones. You can't keep crashing them. Another thing that I don't like about the DJI FPV drones is they're heavy. Like compared to this, like this is light as compared to this. This is like a brick flying through the air. It's also why this is so sluggish in the air. And when I say sluggish, this thing rips like it's a fast drone, but compared to this drone, it's not a fast drone. Now, one thing that I absolutely love about the traditional FPV drones is just how they fly. Now, I'm not skilled enough to build my own drone yet. I don't know if I'm gonna go down that path, but these are from iFlight. This video is not sponsored by iFlight, by the way. Um, they're just an easy way for me to get traditional FPV drones. I don't have to worry about building them. They come pre-built, ready to fly. But the main thing that I love about these drones is they are just so smooth to fly and just so agile. And it's just a beautiful feeling flying a, a traditional FPV drone. It's like you're one with the machine. It's mm, nothing like it. Another thing that I do absolutely love about the traditional FPV drones is that you're always gonna be using a GoPro. So pretty much every traditional FPV drone will have a mount on it, or when you build it, you can put a custom mount on however you like. But normally everyone's flying with a GoPro and the GoPro quality is just mint. Whereas with the DJI FPV drones, they come with their own cameras. The Avada camera is pretty good. Um, so I don't fly with a GoPro on that, but the DJI FPV, but the DJI FPV camera is not ideal. It breaks up under grading or heavy grading. So I've got this 3D mount on there where I chuck a GoPro on there and it just makes it so much better. But having said that, doing that to this drone makes it heavier and it makes the battery life less. There are some pluses to flying the DJI FPV drones though. And obviously one of those is the emergency stop button. So if you get into a bit of a pickle, you hit that button, the drone is just gonna pull up and stop for you and hover. So you don't get that feature on the traditional FPVs. If you get into a pickle, the drone is going either in the water or in the ground or in the bushes or wherever you're flying. So having that feature as a new pilot is absolutely amazing and it makes me feel comfortable every time I'm flying. Another thing that I absolutely love about the DJI FPV drones is you get this little H when you're flying around. So where you take off, you get this home point in your goggles. So when you're flying, you can you know exactly where your home base is. So if you're flying in a forest full of trees and you can't really see where you took off from, you have that location in your goggles, which I think is amazing. There's been several times, especially when you're getting low on battery and you're thinking, oh shit, where is where do I have to go? Having that as a safety is just so nice to have. Now, obviously the biggest difference between the traditional FPV and the DJI FPV is price and build. So if you're building your own drone and you crash it, or even the iFlight drones and you crash it, you can get parts fairly easily and you can replace parts on your drone and fix it up and it's good to go and fly again. If you crash these drones, the Avada is a little bit more tolerant to crashing, but you're only gonna get so many crashes out of it before you kinda gonna need a new drone altogether. It's probably gonna be a lot cheaper for you to be in traditional FPV rather than DJI FPV world because if you're prone to crashing, you're gonna be buying a few of these suckers. So in the end, you do not have to choose. If you're like me and you like cinematic flying and you like having fun as well with FPV, you don't have to choose. This can be both worlds, so on the table here is both worlds. I love the DJI FPV system and I love traditional FPV as well. There is just a time and a place of where you utilize each drone. And there will be a bucket load more of FPV content coming on the channel. And if you do wanna see more content, let me know in the comments below to get me inspired to create more FPV content for you guys. And that's it, hooroo, see you in the next one.